Welcome to RV and Travel Adventures. My name is Jesus Manuel Menegarza. If you pay attention, you can hear the sad, sad wail of the uh, American leaf blower in the background. Yes, uh, people are working on their yards here in Fort Worth. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the disparity between van lifers and uh, yuppie upscale uber van lifers uh hope you find this video interesting don't forget to like subscribe and share i would greatly greatly appreciate it i'm giving my opinion and my opinion alone uh as you very well know uh, looking at youtube videos there's some individuals out there that uh, pay their bills uh, via van life they show their activities be they very modest individuals that are primarily on social security and then uh, add some income sometimes substantial income uh, via producing youtube videos uh, again you, those are elderly individuals uh, social security they sh have a modest van built with a uh, modest equipment uh, maybe a small propane stove where they cook some food uh, maybe not even a shower they just go outside and rinse themselves off with the hose and they have some rudimentary cabinets that they built out of available pieces of wood okay and this is all in a van that's maybe 5 10 20 years old an old van retrofitted uh, to support a rather rather modest lifestyle on the other end of the uh, continuum <laughs> quite a ways up there are the 200 and 250 thousand dollar soon to be 300 350 thousand uh, dollar van lifers they buy those vans those custom vans i noticed uh, a lot on youtube i'm watching these videos that's a nice looking van and these companies pop up usually buy 30 somethings and they say we're building new vans and we have all these great features we upgraded the suspension We've upgraded the tires, we've upgraded the rims, we've upgraded the heater, we've upgraded the solar, and we offer this and this and this and that and that. And look how beautiful it looks on the outside and inside. It's absolutely amazing for you adventurers out there. Uh, you know, it's four wheel drive, all wheel drive, either on a Ford Transit or in a Mercedes Sprinter chassis. And uh, once in a great while, once in a great while, uh, a Dodge Ram chassis, okay? So those individuals are upscale individuals. It's uh, essentially the price of a modest house here in Fort Worth. You can buy a house down the road here, you know, five miles down the road in certain neighborhoods for $100,000, $150,000. You can go to Las Cruces right now and buy a house for $100,000 in different parts in rural Texas, New Mexico, in the United States. You can buy a house for $100,000, $150,000 under the price of what these folks are selling their vans for. Typically they're 200, 200 thousand dollars plus. If I went to a VOD RV down the road here, they sell, uh, you know, uh, uber expensive uh, high-end uh, vans, B pluses, etc. Oh, by the way, off in the distance you can hear a helicopter. We have several military bases here in Fort Worth and uh, I can see it. A military helicopter how dare they interrupt my video don't they know I'm on YouTube right now dang so uh, they sell very expensive Canadian brands also these uh, brands that uh, you know are absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic I want one seriously I want one but they go for 200 225 250 thousand dollars for that B B plus small c okay very nice a plus i love them beautifully built beautifully crafted top of the line features but too expensive for this dude okay i spent on my last uh, rv my only rv i've ever purchased before that i had a you know a van that i modified back in the 80s 90s that i cruised around in and i had a threw a futon in the back i don't call that uh, it's basically a class b <laughs> But uh, recently, about two and a half years ago, I bought, two years ago, uh, I bought, uh, you know, a travel trailer for 25 grand, a uh, Rockwood Mini Light 2205S with some bells and whistles. But that's cheap, 25 grand, uh, 
I bought it because I could afford 25 grand, but I cannot afford 200 grand. I want that 200 grand, class B, B plus, small C, but I can't afford it. How about you? Can you afford it? Again, uh, these custom upfitters, now they're popping up everywhere. You go there, 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 these 30 somethings, 40 somethings, and they're building these fantastic, amazing, beautiful, well outfitted, you know, raised off the, you know, they raise the suspension, they put better tires, they put better stoves, ovens, fridges. They, oh, that's a nice fridge. I wish I had that fridge. And, uh, you know, beautiful furniture, beautifully laid out, uh, custom detailing on the uh, ceiling and on the, on the, you know, on the cabinets. These cabinets work as compared to my cabinets, which fall apart as I drive down the road. These cabinets work. <laughs> so, uh, again, uh, they're selling these. They're popping up everywhere. They're building these custom, you know, vans and, you know, everywhere. If I was uh, to uh, have a van, I got a used van, a nice, small, simple van, and I would buy just a kit. Personally, I would just buy a kit. They go for 21, 20,000 bucks, 30,000 bucks, 40,000 bucks, and just install that and call it good. I'd probably get the cheapest, you know, kit and call it good, put a nice mattress in it, Put a basic refrigerator, you know, DC fridge, small DC fridge, you know, ones that pop up, you know, have the lids go whoop like that, boop, boop, two different sections, you know, call it good. I would do that. I would do that personally because I'm a cheapskate. I'm not one of these persons that has the cash, the ability to buy a 200, 250,000 and wait a couple years, it'll be 300, 350,000 dollar class B's, B pluses small C's. If you went to Motorhome Specialist just down the road here about 22 miles, uh, you would find that uh, you'd find a two million dollar uh, motorhome that you can buy. You go down to Vod RV, they have a uh, you know million dollar RVs that would be more than happy to sell you and of course they have those 200, 250 thousand dollar B's, B pluses and C's at both places. Motorhome Specialist and bought. I cannot afford them. I want them. I see them and I go, I appreciate them. And I go, that is nice. The light's coming through and I'm starting to get a little bit of a funny light on me. I apologize that the sun is not cooperating. Like those folks with the uh, leaf blowers and that helicopter, things aren't as I planned in this video. Again, I seriously, seriously apologize. I'll never do that again. Hope you're doing fantastic. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, and only, only, only if you have the time, uh, leave your kind and friendly comments below and tell me uh, how you roll. Hey, you say, I'm Jeff Bezos. I'm Elon Musk. I don't do the van life thing. I go to Turkey you know, hang out with the uh, gals down there and have a good time, okay? I go to, you know, South America during the winter here because it's too cold here, et cetera, et cetera. I hot tub in Kyoto, but I do not do the van life. I'd like to do the van life. My fantasy currently, my current fantasy is to be in a B, B plus, small C, and go to Baja, cruise down a beach, you know, to one of those rough roads, uh, and not have my RV. I can't. I, my uh, Rockwood Mini Light 2205S. If I went down one of those roads, I am almost sure that it'll fall apart. The cabinets will come out. I'll have to fix things here and there. But those very nice Bs, B pluses, small Cs, small Cs, tiny Cs. Uh, they are fabulous for that. You know, you can go down the roads. They have the helper springs. They have the best shocks. They've raised off the ground. They're all wheel drive, four wheel drive. And you can go. And when you're going through customs, you just say, hey, look at the back. I ain't got nothing. I ain't got nothing. I just got, I don't even, I didn't even bring a banana because you won't let me bring a banana across the border. I have to buy one in Mexico. Okay. So hope you're doing fantastic. Don't forget to ring the bell for future notification. I'm sorry about the deckled lighting. That's an actual term, deckled lighting. That's a photographer, videographer for many, many years in Silicon Valley, Austin, LA, and currently in Fort Worth. I do know what deckled lighting is, and that's what deckled lighting is. Thanks for checking out my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. If you haven't learned something, just leave a comment below. Say, Jesus, I didn't learn anything. 
uh, better luck next time. From Fort Worth, Texas, gracias, adios, bye bye.